Welcome to Jeff's test kitchen. As you can see on the board, I have reverse engineered and found out the recipe for love potion number nine. Okay, so for this, we take a little bit of Diet Coke and half and half it with orange juice. Put some paprika in it, some pepper, and some onion. Okay. So we're gonna get get that. And so we swirl it around a little bit. Okay. So as we know, this love potion number nine affects a lot of people around you. Kind of like the coronavirus. But it's a it was seen to be a good virus back in the 60s, okay? So uh, like the cop and the hairdresser and the, your friend down the street, everybody got, uh, got a little love bug, okay? So uh, I came up with the antidote for love potion number nine. Okay, now what this does, uh, when you add the Diet Coke, the Minute Maid, and you change it up, you got garlic, okay, because you know that's good for bat, uh, vampires and werewolves. So rosemary. It's odd because that's kind of the name of my uh, grandmother. And a little thyme. Because you want a little thyme for it to work. So you put these together and you shake them around. Okay. So I've been trying to reverse engineer this and uh, get an antidote for love potion number nine ever since my ex-wife proposed to me. Uh, and also I find it a good use for uh, car salesmen. Say you feel, oh, I want to buy a car. You're such a good salesman. You, when we're going to turn this into spray form, you can spray that. So you only buy when you want to. And then if you ever go to Orlando or Branson and they ask for, a, for you to go to a timeshare opportunity, you like double it and spray it real thick so you don't fall into those traps. So we are glad to have this breakthrough in medicine. So you could call me an inventor of Love Potion nine, number nine antidote. And that this is my recipe. And you have a good rest of your day. Bye.